Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fishing with James. Today, I'm going to be showing you all how to tie a loop knot for crappie fishing. This knot allows your jigs to move around a lot more underwater and have a more lifelike action. And at the end of this video, I'll be showing you some underwater footage directly comparing the action of jigs with the loop knot versus the typical clinch knot and the results will surprise you. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So right here, I've got one of my baby white crappie hand-tied jigs, and the first step is just to put the line through the eye of the hook. Next, pull out around eight to 12 inches of line and double it by holding it between your fingers. You don't need too terribly much line out, but it makes it easier and gives you more wiggle room. Now you're just gonna take both strands of line and wrap them around your fingers once. This will give you a really nice loop with a hole in the middle. Next, we're gonna take our crappie jig and just put it right through the middle hole. And we're actually gonna repeat this process three times so that the knot doesn't slip any. So this is the second time through right there. And then we're gonna go one more time right through the middle hole right there. Next, I'm just going to hold the loop with my left hand and pull the main end of line with my right hand so that the knot will eventually close down towards the crappie jig. Once it gets down pretty close, I'm just gonna pull it tight just like that. Finally, I'm just gonna pull the tag in really tight as well to make sure the knot is as tight as it can get. Then I'm just gonna cut the tag in right there and we are set. I should also say that this knot is not going to break on you. It is very, very strong. So you can see right here how freely the jig moves around with this knot and it's the same way underwater. So let's go ahead and go check out how this knot compares to the clinch knot underwater. So first up, we've got our typical fishing knot, clinch knot, polymer knot, any knot that ties directly to the jig head. And the jig has a lot of action. It moves around a lot and looks pretty good in the water. Tapping the jig more aggressively gives it a little bit more movement and more action. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the loop knot. So the jig moves around a lot more. It bounces around and overall it's just less restrained because the knot isn't right on the jig head. So same as the clinch knot, you can see that moving around this jig more aggressively gives it a ton more action and overall movement. So finally, let's take a look at these two knots side by side. So I've slowed both videos down to 50% speed and you can see how much more movement the right side video has with the loop knot. I also wanna say that all of the jigs you saw in this video were tied by me and I have a series on my channel outlining the in-depth processes of tying each one. So make sure to check that out by clicking the link I left in the description and pinned comment. So I hope you all enjoyed this quick tutorial. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you aren't already as I'll be posting plenty of crappie fishing tips and tricks just like this in the near future. And with all of that, I will see you all in the next episode of Fishing with James.